Hello everyone, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well. And in this lesson, we are going to look at one of the techniques that is used within the investment appraisal process. And this one is called net present value or simply NPV. Now NPV is quite different from the other ones that we've looked at. One in the sense that it gives you the answer in a figure, so in numbers, in dollars, in dun dineros, and that's what you want, right? You want to figure out that is any investment worth getting into and am I going to make any money from it or not at the end of it? Whether it's buying a new machinery, buying a new business, whatever you're doing, businesses need to know. At the end of it all, when all is said and done, do I have a profit? Or am I going to make a loss? And if you can figure that out before getting into that investment, of course, if it's a loss making one, then you can get away from it. You don't want to commit to something like that. And if it's a profit making one, you go for it, right? So net present value is a method used to determine the overall profit or loss from the useful life of a project. So if it's for five years, you want to figure out what happens after five years while factoring in discount factors. Now this is the critical part because that's where NPV is different from the previous two techniques that we've looked at. We, the ARR, which is accounting rate of return, and payback period, those two techniques do not take into account discount factor. They base their calculations on net cash flows. However, NPV is the calculation that uses discount factors, and then in turn, what they give us is discounted cash flows to use in our calculations. And if you're unsure of what I'm talking about, just go back to the discount factors and time value of money video. Just give it a quick watch and you will be caught up with it in no time, I promise. So let's now begin with NPV and figure out how to solve a question when you're asked to do it. Now, similar to the other techniques, this one's also not a single formula. This is a process and the process is a four step simple process, which looks like this. My first step in this process and it's a nice purple one is to list down all the net cash flows and the discount factors for each year now whenever you're given a question you're given the net cash flows and you're also provided the discount factors along with a percentage so you'll be told that the company wants to discount it maybe at eight percent let's say and then you'll be given a bunch of numbers which indicate the discount factors at 8%. So none of this is something that you have to come up on your own. As soon as you get this, you make the table same as you see in the question. So if it's five years, you'll have five rows and two columns, one with the net cash flow, and right next to it, you list down the discount factors for each year. From there, you go to step number two. And step number two is that you multiply the net cash flows with the discount factors. You'll remember, and when you watch the discount factor video, you will see this again, that that's how you get what we know as discounted cash flows. And that's what we want. We want our discounted cash flow so that we can use, we can use it in our calculation further. So the answer to this, what we're looking for is called discounted, let's go with CF for cash flow. Then, that leads us to step number three. And step number three is that you sum up all the positive cash flows from your data. So these positive cash flows, the best way to remember this is that they will be all the numbers that are year one plus. So year one and the years after that, you will see the number that have positive cash flows. So that's something to remember. Then it takes us to our step number four, which is the final step in this process. That whatever this number is at the end of step three, you take this number and you subtract the original cost of investment. So if this was two million and then the original cost was 0 0.5 million, then you, you minus 2.1.5 to get a number of 1.5. And once you're done with all of that, that figure is your net present value, your NPV. Now at this point, the NPV will either be a positive number or a negative number, depending on your numbers and your net cash flows. 
that's what will indicate that if it's a positive number we're making a profit if it's a negative number then we are making a loss so if you want to write this down somewhere this is a good time to do it because now I'm gonna go towards a calculation with this process so if you have written those steps down you should bring them up now in front of you and try to solve this with me together now remember that whenever you're asked to calculate investment appraisal you're given certain piece of information and what we're given here is the years we're given each year's then cash flows and last one includes our residual value and we're also given the original cost of investment so let's begin with step number one which is what we've done here we listed down the years we listed down the net cash flows and we listed down the discount factors at 10% interest rate. This will always be provided in the question and they have told us that if it's at 10%, these are the discount factors. You simply write them down in their corresponding years. So that's step number one. From there, we go to our step number two and in step number two, we make this column to the right of our table called discounted cash flows. And then we start multiplying these net cash flows by our discount factor. So 5,000 multiplied by one gives me, of course, 5,000. So this is my initial investment. I'm going to put that in brackets, of course. After that, year one, I earned 2,000 and that is discounted or I'm expecting that when it loses its value by 10%, it'll be equal to 0.91. I'm still just multiplying these. So 2000 multiplied by 0.91 gives me 1820. 3000 multiplied by 0.83 is 2490. Then 2000 multiplied by 0 0.75 is 1500. 2000, uh, 1000 multiplied by 0 0.68 is 680. And finally, 3000 multiplied by 0.62 is equal to 1860. Okay, so what I've done here is my step number two. I'm going to write step two is this, and this was all step one. So from here till here. Now we get to step number three, and step number three asked us to add up all the positive cash flows from our table. And the hint that I gave you was that these are all the numbers from year one onwards. So 1820 all the way till 1860, these are the numbers that we will add up. This is my step number three. And when I add these numbers up, it gives me total number of 8,350. So this is what we've earned across these five years from this investment, taking in consideration that the value of money will go down by 10% and we'll end up earning 8,350. That leads us to my final step, step number four, where you take this number of $8,350 and you deduct the original cost of investment. So $5,000, which gives me a figure of 3,350. This is what the investment will give back to us. And since this is a positive number, tells us that we'll end up making a profit. And money shall rain down from the skies and we are a happy family. <laughs> so that's what NPV does. It uses the discount factors, adds and deletes all the things that you need to, and then tells you should you go ahead with this product pro with this project or not, whether it's making a profit or a loss. And as long as it's a profit, if it was just fifty dollars a profit, you would still go ahead with this investment.